Hello everyone, it's a neighborhood pharmacist here again. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dominika Akiemi and I'm a pharmacist. So today we're going to be discussing the difference between malaria and typhoid. A lot of us in this part of the world call it typhoid. So malaria is an infection caused by Plasmodium falciparum, while Salmonella typhi causes typhoid. Now, their method of infection is different okay malaria infection is caused by the malaria parasite plasmodium falciparum the agent of transmission in this case is a mosquito right but in terms of typhoid which is an infection it is caused by um salmonella typhi like i said earlier but the agent of transmission in this case is humans basically touching and eating contaminated food as well as drinking contaminated water do we get that now so in this case for malaria it is treated using anti-malarial medications specific for malaria now typhoid is treated by antibiotics because salmonella typhi is a bacteria okay the symptoms might be similar but you can only know if you actually have typhoid by doing a medical test okay so as much as possible don't just assume that because you have malaria it you would come down with typhoid no there is a complete difference and the medications you use to treat them are also different so please do not go to your pharmacist asking for ma medicine for malaria and typhoid okay you have to be sure of what it is you are trying to treat their symptoms may be similar in terms of the fever and all but there's a differential when it comes to um typhoid okay so you can only know for sure if you are infected with typhoid when you do a laboratory test and with the test comes a what's that thing called there's this medication chart that tells you what that particular infection you're carrying is susceptible to the lab will tell you and it, the pharmacist will understand and know which antibiotic to give you yes there are specific antibiotics but i will not you know mention that in this video let your pharmacist do that as well as you know your lab test confirm for them okay so having said this do not go to the pharmacist asking for malaria and typhoid medication no that's not how it's done get a test done even for malaria right now it is better for you to get tested and be sure that you know the fever the symptoms that you're actually coming down with are caused by the malaria parasite so what am i saying in essence they are completely different okay one is malaria one is typhoid they are not the same they don't always infect you at the same time there's a way to know the difference and how to know is is for you to get tested and after getting tested the results will tell the pharmacist how to administer the medications for you so let's talk about the treatment like i said earlier when you're going to take the antibiotics for the typhoid um, infection please as much as possible use what the doctors have recommended based on your lab test as well as your pharmacist and when you're going to use it please complete your dose there's a reason why, there's a catch to why if you don't treat yourself properly. First of all, you become a carrier. Is that, yes, you most likely become a carrier because um, you haven't completely treated the infection in your system. So it's either that or you develop resistance to that particular anti simple antibiotic that would have cleared out everything in your system. You either develop resistance or you become a carrier and become a sort of health hazard to those around you so you just keep transmitting typhoid infections to people around you i hope i'm sure a lot of people don't know about this but that's what happens you can try checking out um, this lady typhoid mary she was an asymptomatic carrier she did not have any symptoms of typhoid but everywhere she went you know people that she came in contact with i even think she was working in a food um, industry thereabouts but you can google you just check out type typhoid mary you find out what she was doing and she didn't know so you can be doing that to those around you and 
you know, causing a health hazard, like I said. So as much as possible, once the test has been done, you find out that it's typhoid, take the, the recommended antibiotics and finish your proper course of treatment, okay? As well as malaria, the same thing. You can also end up developing resistance to certain um, types of medications that would have come easily to you. This is what I tell my clients most times. As much as possible, if you're starting that medication for that particular um, illness, finish the course of treatment, okay? Then, um, if, you're, if you still feel a bit sick after treating malaria, okay? Um, do these things see um, go back to the pharmacist see the pharmacist and say okay I still feel a certain way I mentioned it in one of my previous videos some things you should do um, you can start with the vitamin C supplement it will help it contains it's a very major antioxidant it will help your system get you know restarted you can go back to taking the iron com um, supplements iron containing supplements okay what we know as blood tonics here either in the liquid form or in the capsule form you take it and you know your red blood cells begin to grow and multiply and you'll be you'll be back to good health in no time i hope you were able to get something from this video please hit the subscribe button you will not come down with malaria if you do so okay hit the like buttons please put down your comments i will be in the comment section reading everything and please please and please hit the notification bell so that when new videos come out you'll be notified and you'll get another interesting content to you thank you so much see you next time